Right, Megan? Exactly. We're live here at Tampa International Airport, and Tom and Taylor, for the first time since Tuesday night, the doors are open. And come on in. Starting at 10 o'clock this morning, we're going to see flights resuming. I'm going to show you the board right now, and this is pretty terrifying. If you've ever flown on a plane, this is the last thing you want to see. As we look up here, you're going to see a lot of red. It is canceled across the board right now. But again, that's early this morning. This afternoon, things are going to be changing. 10 o'clock that first flight and for many people who evacuated during Hurricane Ian, this is their first time guys to to get home, see what Ian might have done. And this is what some of them could find. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Check out this video a neighbor shared with us showing the moment this giant tree came crashing down on Francis Avenue. Yeah, our daughter so said fast. the ground shook. Wow, I mean, I've never seen a tree that big down in the middle of the, of the street. We also found some minor flooding on Davis Island and several down power lines, leaving many still in the dark. But today, there is a sense of relief. I feel a tremendous amount of guilt, just probably just me, and gratitude. And we're going to go help family and friends. You know, here in Tampa, just driving from our, our hotel to the airport this morning, the roads were clear, no flooding, no trees down. They're really starting to clean up. Obviously, power's on here. We've got people actually trickling in to the airport already this morning for that first flight at, at 10 a.m. And while things are back up and running here, guys, we're going to keep an eye on the board throughout the morning because we know our neighbors to the south could be having some trouble here. Obviously, uh, not opening up. We're going to watch the board and see how things are shaping up on the west coast of Florida as the morning continues. For now, live in Tampa Bay, I'm Megan Gillen. Back to you guys.